Hello everyone and welcome to Stardew Valley. This was a series long awaited on my channel and yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a fun series. So let's start. Basically, this game's like... A lot of people say it's like Minecraft and Terraria put together. Um, I think I would say, yeah, kind of. Um, but we're gonna get into it. I already have a name for our character. Uh, the farm. Uh... Ooh, I got a good one. Yes, or Minecraft series. Um, speaking of, the reason why I'm doing this series now is because I'm still working on the Minecraft mod. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to do at the moment the mod because it's it's a lot of coding so I need to start another series in the meantime but yeah I hope this is okay what's my favorite thing uh, I did this on my my other character so and we're gonna have a cat. We're gonna have Cosmo, of course. A uh, skin. Okay, hair. I never really looked at this stuff. I think this is good for now. And then we got eye color. Uh, see if we can find my eye color. Mine's like a hazel. Oh wow, that is really bright on my character, actually. Let's do that one. Shirts. Uh... I never really looked at these shirts before. Let's see here. This one's okay. Pants. We should do normal. Um... What the color should be though. I think that's a good color. What's accent? Oh, that's like ears and stuff. Oh, I think those are earrings. I think so. That's <laughs> makeup. I didn't even know that was there. Glasses. And then we got uh, all sorts of weird stuff. I think that's a necklace. Okay, let's just be normal for now. Um, yeah, let's get right into this game. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be glorious. It's like a farming simulator, but also like a NPC simulator kind of thing. I know a lot of people know about it already, but I haven't really done a series, so might as well. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Oof! 20 years later! At Joja, join us thrive. Okay. Oh god, that guy is creepy. <laughs> I always find him creepy. He kind of looks like Woody from Toy Story, but like a very curvy one. Oh, what happened here? I actually never noticed the skeleton before. Oh, I'm so burdened by the life. <laughs> I 
Right, we have that letter. Dear Angel, if you're reading this, you must be in a dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Angelite Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is what this was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? <laughs> of course! Oh, here we go! Heading into the farm. This is very exciting news. Very exciting indeed. <laughs> Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles. Little bird. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hello, you must be Angel. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. Okay, let's do this. Oh wow. This is Angel A Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Uh, yeah, sure. If you say so. <laughs> and here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer! <laughs> I'm gonna keep that voice. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis of Pelican Town. You know everyone has been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Why is everyone British? This is the only accent I know. <laughs> so, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Angel. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from that long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck! Cheese. Great! Great! Welcome! Progress has been saved. Oh great. It's time to leave our bed. Hello! We got a box full of seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. <laughs> that voice I gave him uh, 28 people to greet and to start with the basics use your hoe till the soil cultivate harvest parsnip right we have priorities but I want to move our house around a bit because I did this in my last game <laughs> um, 
yes, I know this game, and I've played it for about 153 hours, but there's still a lot of stuff in this game that people don't even see yet. And it's 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 updated like almost all the time, so still a lot to know, a lot to see, a lot to explore. We do actually have 500 gold. I didn't know we started out with gold. Um, I need to be careful of using all those uh, those voice actors because uh, I might turn British myself. <laughs> Let's see here. No mail. Well, that's great. Um. Okay, so there's our little farm. Let me just break down this tree real quick. Basically, you're like trying to clean up your farm, stuff like that. There's NPCs, there's a whole town I want to show you guys in a, in a second. Uh, but let me just get the basics down. Okay, so basically you plant some seeds. Just to start a little tiny farm first. There we go. Uh, I'll water them in a sec. I'm actually gonna go into town now. I'm gonna go see what's up. See how all the NPCs are doing. And there's these uh, daffodils you can pick up, of course. You uh, pick them up and you pretty much just go about your day. You can sell them, you can trade them for gifts. You can uh, get your NPCs to like you. You can marry people, have relationships. La la la. So it's the very beginning. This is Marnie. He's the rancher. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Of course. I will definitely swing by. Um, because I need animals myself eventually. Right, but where we need to go is Pierre's. Hi, Pierre's. Ah, welcome to Pierre's. Great to get you some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Hello, guys. <laughs> Gave him a weird voice. Welcome to Pierre's. Need some supplies. Yes, I do. Um, ooh. Already, we got some white colors going on here. So don't worry, I could sell that sap stuff because we don't really need it. Um, along with clay, we can throw that out because we need to get some more parsnip seeds. 15, that's actually great. Um, and we got nice colored wallpaper and flooring. I want to go check out. Yeah, you can customize your farm, your house, your everything. Uh, just to show you. This is the inventory. There's, uh, clothes, rings, uh, skills, which you can unlock. Your wallet, your social, friend life. You can marry all the single people and, like, actually be with them. Uh, but who do you guys want me to be with? I actually want to be with someone new. So, the people I haven't been with is Penny, Alex, Emily, ha Haley's don't, don't, don't you dare say Haley. She's blah. Uh, <laughs> Sam. Uh, I've already been with Abigail. She's like my main character. I actually haven't been with the doctor. That, that would be weird. Um, Elliot, which is like a handsome brood guy. There's Maru, which is a scientist. And then the emo guy, Sebastian. And then Shane, but he's like a bitch, so. <laughs> yes, I cursed. Oh well. I guess this episode's gonna be demonetized. <laughs> Don't really care. I'm just doing this series because, like, I, 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 just doing it. <laughs> but yeah, I guess what I'll do is uh, I'll alternate uh, Stardew Valley and Minecraft every day. 
So, Minecraft video, then Stardew Valley video, and then it just repeats that. Uh, for now, anyway. Until you guys suggest some new games, I guess this is the way I could go. By the way, this series is gonna be big. It's gonna have, like, 500 episodes. Uh, it, I don't think this game ends, really. Ooh! <gasps> That's so pretty! Oh my god, okay. Great. Great. Um, let's go plant these, because we still had to plant them. I think I'm gonna wait till winter time till I start cleaning up the farm. And the reason is, during winter, all of this weed and grass goes away. So it's a bit easier. I might do a bit here and then, though. Maybe do all of it off camera. Maybe. I don't know, it's a lot of work cleaning up this farm, especially when you don't have upgraded tools. It's a mess. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't- I won't say anything about the cat. So... Let's just chop down this tree. The music is amazing, by the way. I actually never really thought about the music. I always had it off, and I just listened to Minecraft music. <laughs> but this is actually really nice. Okay, now that we got some of that stuff out of the way, we could probably build a coop soon. I don't know how long parsips needs. It's needs? Okay. Take four days to mature. That's good. Um. Nine, ten. Okay, so we have a total of 30 seeds to start off with. That's really good, actually. I never actually thought about this, um, getting stuff before. Oh, yeah, energy is a thing. So we have six out of 270. What happens is you run out of energy very fast, so you need to eat stuff. Um, sadly, daffodils don't do anything. So, how am I gonna get food exactly? Uh, that's- that's an issue. I'm gonna have to go forage for stuff, right? Oh, but this place is blocked off. Okay, scyth- scything stuff doesn't- doesn't lose energy, so that's good. There must be some food we can collect. Yes, a horseradish, that's good. Uh, so eating flowers doesn't give energy, but eating foods, forageables, they do. So that's- that's pretty good. Here is, uh, Demetrius. He studies plants and mushrooms and stuff. Uh, I don't want to do- I don't know if I can do voices for everyone. I- <laughs> there'd be so many to keep track of, because there's just like- It says 28 people, but more people move in and stuff, and- I actually never noticed this before. I wish I could help him, but I kind of can't. Okay, so it's 3.30 p.m. It's getting pretty late. Uh, hello? Stranger, yes. This is Linus, he is the homeless man. But apparently I heard stories that he's not actually homeless, and that he just acts homeless, which is a bit bizarre. Um, yeah, let's go through town. Let's see if there's any things we could harvest. See if there's any fruit or forageables around. This is the community center. I can't go in there yet, though. Um, I guess there's this. I just really don't want to go throughout my, my, my day having to water different fields of parsnips. Um, the most forageable items I know about are actually down here. You can collect stuff from trash cans too, which is kind of bizarre, but you can't let anyone see you or else you'll lose friendship points. So there's Haley. She's kind of a, a meanie. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? 
Yeah, that's the voice I'm giving her. Um, <laughs> let's see. There's gotta be some food around here. This is Leah, she's a painter. On my very recent character, I actually wanted to see what would happen if I got more hearts with her. And I did, and uh, cool things happened. Don't wanna say though. Now, I'm, o I'm actually okay with being with like Abigail and Leah and stuff again if you guys really want it. Oh, I forgot down here. Now down here in the beginning of spring, in almost every season, there's some of these spring onions which you can grab. So you guys know, they're very useful. Um, oh, we got a golden one, heck yes. That's why it wouldn't let me grab it, it was kind of confused. showing you guys the lay of the land. I don't really have to cut this series up, really. Uh, it's because it's going to be very compact, full of full of fun stuff. This place is an abandoned house. It, um, I don't want to I don't want to say what happens because I just don't want to spoil too much. Uh, this is a bridge that can never get fixed, just so you guys know, so it, it won't ever get fixed. Um, Right, there's seasons in this game. There's four seasons. Spring, summer, winter, fall. Not in that order, but those are the seasons. And then... Starts spring, summer, fall, and then winter, and then it re resets, so... Right, we're out of inventory space. I'm almost out of energy, and I need to go water my crops. Now, after... When the time hits 2 a.m. in the morning, you will actually faint, which is not good. Um, I'm gonna eat my onions, just to get a tiny little bit of energy. Now we can go water our crops. Oh boy, once we figure out how to get back up there. Um, yeah, our farm is a complete disaster. Don't worry, I'll clean this up off camera a little bit, so it's gonna be fine. Well, let's see if we could just get back. There we go. Okay, now we just water the rest of our crops. Okay, we're running out of energy again. We seem to run out of energy a lot. Okay, I don't want to run out too much then you get a nausea kind of thing. Trust me, guys, you don't want the nausea thing to happen. <laughs> so I'm not gonna let it happen. Okay, let's see. There's just a little bit left. I think you actually have to put water out here every day. Um, even when the animal isn't there yet. Still don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to. Okay, I think that's good for now. Uh, we have the basic backbone of this so far. Let's make a chest, put our stuff in it. I'm gonna make it... I need to make this out in the open because I made a mistake of not doing that before. And you'll see why I'm doing it eventually, probably in like the 13th episode of why I'm moving it out in the open. Uh, yeah, we have everything we need. And that was a good start. That was a great start. It is dark in our house. There we go. It's like, why is it so dark? Jeez. Can we actually... Oh, we can. I didn't know we could move the campfire, like, to somewhere bizarre. But we, we did. <laughs> um... That's a good spot, actually. Okay, well we need to sleep now, and we need to go on to day two. Level one foraging already, we got field snacks, which is good. And uh, so I'm gonna leave it here. I know that was kind of short, but I'm leaving this series uncut, so this is gonna be like 20 something minutes long already. Um, but I hope you guys will enjoy this series. That was day one, and now we're on to day two. Uh, make sure to put down in the comments below, guys, who you want me to think about being with. I'm not being with Haley, no matter what you guys say. I'm not doing it. 
<laughs> not doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys will enjoy this series. This is gonna be like an off series from Minecraft, just so you guys can have a break from it once in a while. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a lot of time into my channel now. I'm doing actual videos, which is great. 7 out of 28 people introduced. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this series, slap that like button, don't forget to subscribe, put on that bell to get notified every time I upload amazing videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Called me your god, I wish that I'd been sober Still, here we are, back in Hanover 99 Just like old times all over Under the exit Right, just beautiful as ever